Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. In today's video we are going to be covering week number two of Alta's 21 days of beauty. How'd you guys do for week number one? Did you get everything you wanted? Oh, it was hard over here. I got everything I wanted, but I, I also wanted, you know, more, more that I really didn't need. Can we please talk really quickly about Ulta's shipping speed? I'm so happy I went for the MAC lipsticks. I thought it was just going to be a box, but this way I can try another Powder Kiss lipstick, which is what I wanted to do, and maybe gift one or two of them in their own packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. We got the little skincare fridge, 1201 on my receipt was not playing around, probably was asleep by 12.05. <laughs> I guess that's it for my little mini Alta haul here. I wanted to make sure I mention one more thing before we get into the video, so it seems we're not gonna have hot buys. Super surprising to me, but I guess the trade-off is that we all get a 25% off coupon, the 10 off 40. I hope we all get that, I hope. If you haven't received it yet, check your app. Mine was in uh, the place where you usually activate points multipliers. Super random, have not seen, actually I've seen, I saw something else there recently. There was some daily sale that had a coupon. Strange, strange new system for Alta. But let's go ahead and jump into the daily beauty steals, starting with Sunday, September 6th. So. First up, we have 50% off the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This will be $19. I've heard a lot of good things about this. It really is an impressive shade range. I think personally, I'm going to pass just because I have so many foundations. And also, I have the dupe for this. This one right here, let me be more helpful. The NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. Uh, so, you know, if any of you guys have tried both of them, let us know if you are a, a huge fan of the Anastasia Luminous foundation, leave a comment below. And then we have the Pericone Cold Plasma Line. So I'm really glad I grabbed these the last in the last sale. I can finally tell you guys, people are quite right. This does not have the same smell that the old generation had. One thing I'll tell you about the entire Pericone brand is I, I do very much believe that you will see results with this brand. It's a pricey, pricey brand, but thankfully it's on sale for around 50% off in these 21 days of beauty quite often. Uh, a lot of what he relies on in his formulas is DMEA, which I've talked about before as a kind of controversial ingredient, but it is absolutely one that this man stands by. But that's not everything in his formula. He really does have a lot of antioxidants, fatty acids, peptides, very good formulas. And I would actually say I do think it's worth the price, especially at the 50% off. Just, just certainly a pricey, pricey brand. Oh, I'm so glad that he improved that scent. The old smell was very fishy. Not kidding, very fishy. We've, we've come a long way. Okay, so we have 50% off Clinique eyeliners. We have quite a few to choose from here. I've heard a lot of people say that they really love Clinique's eyeliners, and I think it seems to be people who have more sensitive eyes. I believe it's the Quick Liner that's a holy grail status for quite a few people. $10, not a bad price at all in this sale. We have the Derma Doctor Kadaku C Intensive Vitamin C Peel Pad with Ferulic Acid and Vitamin E. I'm intrigued by this peel every time it's in a sale, so I know it's in the sales fairly often. It's not actually a vitamin C peel, it's a glycolic, lactic, and mandelic peel with some Kadaku Plum for your vitamin C. So I guess last week I should have said there's three peels to choose from. Personally, I haven't tried much from this brand. I've heard good things. You know, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this. Let's move on to Monday, September 7th. We have 50% off the Too Faced Natural Palette Collection. I was thinking about this today. Is, uh, is this the third generation of roughly the same palettes? Because I remember I had the tins. I remember there were cardboard versions before this, right? Wasn't it cardboard or was it still a tin? You guys, I completely forgot that I own the natural face palette until I looked at this picture. That's not a good sign. That's, that's terrible. This is a pretty palette, but it's not exactly ideal for my skin tone. I kind of feel like this would look a lot better on a medium, maybe cool undertone, maybe warm. It's, it's a good blend of shades. It's just a, a little bit deep on my skin. It's a pretty palette. I just don't personally purchase from Too Faced anymore. I also kind of feel like probably at this point, Maybe I'm mistaken, but I feel like 
if you wanted to get these at 50% off, you already have. Am I right? Or are there people who are, are new to this and interested in Too Faced? I just feel like the excitement for Too Faced has kind of died down over the years. All right, then we have 50% off Dermablend setting powders. So I, I will say this in every sales video. You gotta do yourself a favor and click the ingredient list, especially for the plain translucent powder. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious that it is one ingredient. That single ingredient has been finely milled in this product. Not gonna lie, it certainly is a very finely milled powder, but it's, it's, it's one ingredient. And the other two just have some mineral colors added to them. 50% off the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. Whew. You know what, I actually think I did try this product a long time ago. The details, the key to younger looking skin. Unlock your skin's youth potential and see it spring back with new bounce, glow, and radiant vitality. I mean, that's all marketing. It does look like a nice formula. I think I tried this and I think I liked it on my dry skin, but it was just kind of, it's kind of pricey at full price. Uh, you know, lots of antioxidants in here, hyaluronic acid. They're nice ingredients. Estee Lauder's a good, reliable brand. Definitely not a fragrance-free brand, though. 50% off the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. So this cleanser has glycolic, salicylic, and some antioxidants. So this might be a really nice cleanser, not only for anti-aging, which you're gonna get from the glycolic, from the AHA in there, but also the salicylic might help if you do deal with breakouts. So it actually looks not bad overall. We do have some fragrance and dyes, but it's a wash off formula, which usually I don't worry about. Granted, that got me into some trouble with the cleansing balm, didn't it? So, you know, another product that won't be for everybody, but yeah, it looks nice overall. 50% off the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Face Wash from Philosophy. I actually do like this product. I don't have one at the moment, but it's a, it's a gentle exfoliant. It's not gonna be anywhere near your uh, walnut scrubs, but it is a physical exfoliation and a gentle one. I'm gonna go way against the grain here and say that over these last few years, I've discovered that I actually like physical exfoliation and I have to be more cautious with chemical exfoliation. You know, everybody's different. Don't panic about the micro tears thing. Make people give you a source because I've never ever seen a citation for micro tears. Tuesday, September 8th is the reason why I'm wearing these gigantic lashes today. So we have quite a few brands at 50% off. We have Lily Lashes, House of Lashes, Velour Lashes, and Blinking Beauté. Velour? What did I just say? Velour Lashes is actually kind of my, I'd say my favorite brand. I like that their lashes aren't too over the top for me personally. And the boxes are nice, so that's why I have a whole bunch stored in there. Probably not in an optimal storing condition. The lashes that I'm wearing today are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, which were so hyped for so many years. They are so big. I feel these at every second. Every second that I'm sitting here, I want you to know, I feel these lashes. Do they look nice? Yes. Do they hide the fact that I was kind of a little sloppy in blending my eyeshadow today? Absolutely. I know this is kind of a repetitive mindset by now, at least in certain communities, but I, I, it does perplex me that sometimes I see beauty gurus do these incredible looks and then put lashes on where you, you, you truly can no longer see the eyeshadow. I don't get it. Also, I really do want to let you know I still struggle with lashes. At this point, I really don't think it's ever gonna come easy to me. I don't think it is. I think hair and lashes, it's always gonna be a struggle my whole life. I've just accepted it by now. And yet I go through these phases where I'm like, no, 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 no. We, we're gonna start doing lashes every day. We're gonna become that person. No, we're not. We're, we're, we're not. But anyway, I haven't tried the other two brands, so uh, let me know in the comments below if there is a brand that you prefer to Velour. Oh my gosh, I was so hoping the Velour, uh, eyeliner that is also a glue would be included. That stuff is great. 50% off Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum and Moisturizer, 35 to $40 in this sale. See, here's the thing with Juice Beauty. I do like them, so don't get me wrong. I do think they're a great natural brand for people who are looking for natural products, but the thing is their prices are just so high that it kind of starts to feel that they hope people will continue to buy in the 50% off sales because that's the appeal. 
And maybe I'm just saying this because I very recently have found these other much more natural brands that you don't have to wait for a 50% off sale because their prices are never 70 to $80 and they're still very clean products. I'll link you guys the Nola Skin Essentials video because I, I feel like that's the closest to Juice Beauty here, but you know, just know that natural products it doesn't have to be expensive at retail. You don't have to wait for 50% off deals. And that's really all I have to say because even though I did do a trial with Juice Beauty, I, I don't really even really remember that much from it. It's, I didn't become the world's biggest Juice Beauty fan. Anyway, let's move on. So we have the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte and Luminous Eye Color. I've tried several times to get into Nude Sticks and I think that you know you either are a fan of eye pencils or you're not. I've just heard so many people rave about these, about similar products, and I just, it's just, it just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. But then again, I like doing this kind of eyeshadow, so I'm sure that it has a lot to do with it. I know a lot of people love nude sticks. And then we have the Lancome Skin Feels Good. Now, normally, I would never rely on a blister packet to tell you about a foundation since usually, you know, they give you enough to put a little tiny dot on your face and see if it matches, not enough to tell you about the foundation. But I gotta give it to y'all. They gave me some pretty decent sizes in this, so I've been able to wear it for three days. I did put up my thoughts on Instagram and they, they haven't really changed. Oh, I am, I, I'm kind of wearing it today. I'm kind of wearing a tinted moisturizer, but admittedly, it was really light to go this glam with the rest of your makeup, so I kind of piled on some concealer a little later. So please know that a skin tint is not a full coverage foundation. I feel like sometimes that memo gets lost. You know, I saw so many negative reviews of, oh, what's her name? Millie Bobby Brown's little skin tint. I'm like, it's a tinted moisturizer. Why are people like, there's no coverage? Of course there's not. Tinted moisturizer, it seems like it's a struggle for brands to get the tint to spread evenly. It just kind of wants to, to clump in certain spots and not wear that well. To Lancome's credit, this wears really well. But the one drawback, and this is what I said on Instagram, it, it, it really is surprising that it doesn't go lighter to me. I don't think that it was a perfect match for me. Could still pull it off, but if you are much lighter than I am, yeah, I don't think it would work for you. Super surprising because, you know, practically NC20 over here, the most oppressed shade of all time. Said nobody ever. Yeah, I was really surprised that it was kind of too deep for my skin. Wednesday, September 9th is definitely one to mark your calendars for. This is a fantastic day. First off, we've got 50% off Becca primers. So I think I actually did finally declutter my blacklight, blacklight, backlight priming filter. A blacklight priming filter would, pr it would probably be interesting. It would be interesting. <laughs> the backlight priming filter. So this is an illuminating primer. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty on the skin. I just didn't use it that much because I, I tend to often do full coverage looks. Uh, but it is a nice primer. The first light priming filter, I kind of feel like that's the most popular of Becca's primers. It's a really pretty soft purple, and that purple can be really nice for kind of making you look more awake. It's a very subtle effect, and you know, much like with the backlight priming filter, if you're using a full coverage foundation over it, it's probably not gonna make that big of a difference, but it could be really pretty under something like the Lancome Skin Feels Good tint, you know? Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector, that's probably best for oily skin. And then the Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer, I still haven't tried that one. I did try, I did buy the uh, serum, the liquid primer. I think you guys saw that in my last empties video. That was really nice, but for whatever reason, it seems they've discontinued it. Rather rude. We also have some MAC products on this day. We have the Prep and Prime Lip Primer. Not my personal favorite lip primer, but it's a, it's a pretty solid one. And then lip pencils. Oh, I knew I had some of these. I finally found one. And with the stuff I hadn't unpacked since we moved. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury one because I, I got it in my head that, oh, that's the perfect lip liner. But I used this today and I was thinking, you know, MAC did lip liners extremely well. They really did. MAC did lip liners and lipsticks. Fantastically, it's, it's amazing how it's a formula that's so old, but it doesn't need to be perfected. It's just really, really good. And then we have the woman founders section. I'm sorry, I just can't not get excited, even though I am slightly upset, I'll explain. 
So on this day, we have the Indy Lee Coenzyme Q10 Toner and the Brightening Cleanser. And I had just, mm, just bought this. It's only one thing, only one thing in the wholesale that I had just purchased, but here we are. I'm talking to you about being able to get this for 50% off and I paid full price. But I had to buy this because I, I got into spray toners again. If you follow my skincare videos, you know this. I got right back into spray toners and I started thinking, I really want to try this. This is a completely fragrance-free toner where obviously it has coenzyme Q10. It is nice. It's a really nice toner. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. We also have the Ama Say What Foundation on this day. This is what this house uses. This is what I was wearing in last week's video. I'm the shade Fair Lady T1N. This is a really, really nice lightweight and feel but medium coverage foundation wears all day doesn't separate i would definitely say it's buildable in fact the bottle is staring at me and saying for medium coverage use sparingly for full coverage use generously for extreme coverage apply multiple layers yeah i bet you could get extreme coverage out of this just because of the way it sits on the skin it does contain some alcohol in it which i think is part of what gives it a nice texture to just be completely honest with you because again this is very dense in terms of you don't need much to get that medium coverage but it still spreads so nicely uh, i believe it has a little bit of fragrance in it also so it may not be the top pick for you if you're you know heavily into skincare ironically since this is the this the whole claim to fame with this foundation was that they look at individual groups of skin depth and gave a, a, a skincare benefits for that group. I wouldn't buy this foundation for that claim. I would buy it because it's a gorgeous foundation. I feel like I'm really telling you guys why I'm not buying the Anastasia one. I actually like when my foundation lasts me forever, when I do not run out of that product because I need so little to get perfect coverage. You know, I, I think that's why I would go for this or why I'd recommend this over the Anastasia. I still recommend the Lancome one if you really like light coverage though. It's gonna be tough to get very light coverage from this. And then we have a whole bunch of Zoeva palettes on this day. These are so incredible and they're not expensive. So I have the matte one and I did use it today, although like I said, it was sloppy, but because the formula is, is buildable, it's a very buildable and yet pigmented formula, it is perfect for when I feel sloppy. You know, I just kind of barely try to blend out my eyeshadow and I get a, a good look from it. These are $14 in this sale. That is incredible. Definitely, if you are looking for eyeshadow, I would highly recommend these to you. Oh, and by the way, I've had mine for a long time. So I was looking at it today when I used it and I was thinking, gee, I, I wonder when I was supposed to uh, throw this eyeshadow palette out. Well, you know what it says on the back? 36 months. Take that Anastasia Beverly Hills. Not that I pay much attention to those little expiration <laughs> stamps. Does anyone do you? Oh, I, I, I probably shouldn't encourage this, right? It is your eye area. But it's also powder products. I tend to think that stamp is a best guess. I think it's just a guess. Anyway, if you are curious as to what else I use, because obviously I didn't just use the matte palette, this is also the tiny little Pat McGrath palettes. These are $14 right now in the Sephora sale. Oh, I should, I'll add some links to the Labor Day sales because we certainly do have some Labor Day sales going on right now. But we do have a couple more items to talk about in this day. We have Jane Iredale's Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. Haven't tried that, that's a pricey BB cream at full price, 50 bucks. Petite and Pretty Mascaras, I have not tried. I haven't heard of that brand, Petite and Pretty. And then we also have the Beauty Bakery Face Flower Setting Powder. So this will be a great deal. This will be $12. Thursday, September 10th, we have 50% off It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. Oh my gosh. So I just found out that two of the top selling brands at Ulta are Clinique, which didn't surprise me. That's been a top seller for a while. And It Cosmetics. Apparently those two brands have a lot of brand loyalty. A lot of people who really stick with their products. Fascinating because I'm not the biggest fan of It Cosmetics. I, I get Clinique. The eye cream is nice. It's a nice product. It just has such a long ingredients list that it feels like I just watched an episode of Hoarders. 
What are you gonna do with all of that stuff in that eye cream? That's so, so much, so you can't use it all. But it is a nice texture and if you don't have allergies, probably gonna be just fine for you. 50% off the Cover FX Blush and Bronzer Duos. So I have, so, oh, I've come so close to buying these. I've actually talked myself out of this just because I do have a lot of what I suspect this is. I read a lot of reviews and apparently the reason people like the blushes so much is that they're firmly pressed, which means it's a lot harder to overdo your blush. Meanwhile, I'm over here enjoying overdoing my blush. In fact, if I look different today, I actually did a different blush placement and I feel like it, I feel like it made such a difference. It's actually kind of shocking to me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I've, I've heard great things. I'm sure you guys have too. Maybe one of these days I'll get talked into it. 50% off St. Tropez Express Mousse, which I guess is a, a tanning, product. Guess who doesn't tan? <laughs> Bare Minerals Concealer is 50% off. I still have my, my little powder, but it's a, it's a funny story of what happened with this. So I actually really like the powder concealer. I found it so helpful for when I was having really bad breakouts. Uh, but I, I realized one day, well, maybe it's not so much that I necessarily need this specific product, but I need like a powder foundation type of product. And that's kind of what I switched to. But I've really heard a lot of good things. You know, Bare Minerals was certainly one of the first more clean brands out there. So they're probably quite nice, 11 to $12. Great price on those. 50% off Clarins, Murad, and Shiseido. M M M Why are you saying brand names so strangely today? Ooh, look at the price on that Shiseido. That is 82 to $104. So I'm gonna have to say those are probably for people who already know that they love those products. Again, you know, uh, the gel moisturizer might be nice if you're looking for a lightweight moisturizer. Uh, the other ones, certainly some fragrance in those, some natural ingredients also. Uh, probably not for people with any kind of allergies. 50% off the Lorac Pro Palette. So interestingly, I decluttered all of my Pro Palettes. I still have my unzipped palette though and I still love it. Uh, what I'll tell you about Lorac's formula it's so similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills to me. It's that very highly pigmented, more powdery formula. And I think it's gonna be so great for people who have a light hand. If you're somebody who, can, you know, you're just very lightly blending out, this is gonna be perfect for you. On the other hand, I tend to be somebody who tries to do that and then over time, my blending turns into I try so hard to be gentle. I really don't know what happens. And the reason I don't like that formula as somebody with that predisposition is that I'll, I'll push the entire pigment away. I'll blend so hard that the pigment's not where I want it to be. So just something to keep in mind. I think it's a formula for people who like a lot of pigment and have uh, the ability to have a light hand. Friday, September 11th. Oh man, I don't know how many years it's gonna take to be able to read that date without kind of feeling a little sad. Okay, so 50% off the Urban Decay 24 seven eye pencils. So this is why I did the waterline today. This is the creamiest eye pencil that I've ever tried, especially for a pencil that lasts as long as this does. Marc Jacobs has some pretty good eyeliners, but they dry out. That, that was always my problem with those. These last, and because it's a formula that you sharpen, it's a lot harder for it to dry out. So you just get this incredibly rich color that really stays all day. The only con with these is because they're so creamy, you have to sharpen it with a little pencil sharpener pretty much every time you use it. And that means you go through the product quite quickly. I also got the amber one. I think I got this in, they had some kit last holidays. So I just have one of these cause I don't do colorful liner all that often, but yeah, it's really pretty. It's really pretty and it lasts just as long as the black one that I have. This is perversion, by the way. Zero is a little bit lighter. And then we have the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker SPF 30. Heads up on this one. This is a chemical filter sunscreen in here, but it's a nice product. I believe I tried, I tried to try this. Stings my skin because I have that allergy. But yeah, it's, it's a nice texture. I do think Philosophy does skincare well. And then finally, Saturday, September 12th, we have 50% off the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. I'm still perplexed by these to this day because I've never understood wearing lip liner with a matte liquid lipstick. I just don't see the point. 
The matte liquid lipstick makes a very solid and long lasting line. Is it just me? Is it just me who doesn't understand this? Anyway, I know a lot of people love this, so I'm sure, I'm sure it will sell well on that day. I just, I never got into the Kylie brand. 50% off the Mario Badescu Grab and Go Travel Set. I'm probably gonna go for one of these. I'm getting low on my Kate Somerville uh, Eradicate, which I would recommend over this usually because you get more for the money, but in this, it is $11. You do get the full size of drying lotion and then you get the facial spray, which we gotta have a quick conversation about. I know, I know the skincare community absolutely hates this mist. I don't, I don't hate this mist. I can't hate it. But here's the thing, I don't use this as skincare. I don't spray it on my face. This is what I keep around to intensify my eyeshadow. This is what I spray my brushes with and it is such an affordable mist for that purpose. Why on earth would you take Max Fix Plus and spray your brush with it? It's like you can see the product spraying out the money that it cost. This is so cheap and it gets the job done. I mean, I love it, just not as skincare. But the real appeal for me in that kit is the drying lotion, which retails for $17 on its own, and it is such a great product if you have acne. Oh my gosh, such a great product, especially if you have inflamed acne. And then last, we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer. Thought this was nice, thought the ingredients list was a little long. Know that many, many people are gonna be buying this on this day, lots of it cosmetics fans. And that is everything we have for week number two of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. As always, make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.